welcome to this isolation vlog. I'm about to do a workout, um, but yeah, today's plans is to work out, uh, finish a uni assignment that's due tomorrow that I've hardly started. I'm gonna wash and style my hair after this workout, so I'll film that. And then I've got some Instagram work to do this afternoon. Um, me and my friend Taylor, it's really cool, we got asked by Glassens to film some content for them. So I gotta do that this afternoon. But yeah, I'm gonna do this workout. Taylor put it on her, my friend Taylor put it on her story yesterday, so I thought I would try it out. It's a leg workout. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. <laughs> it's a leg workout, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm drinking um, BCAAs as I work out. It's the women's best, it's the women's best peach iced tea flavor one. Let's do it. <laughs> Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore conditioner. Um, I've been using a lot of Shea Moisture at the moment just because I've been wanting to make sure my hair is nice and healthy, getting organic products in it. I want it to grow and stay healthy. So yeah, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner. This is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. I've raved about it a lot. It's just super, super, um, what's the word? Like, hydrating and um, really dense and strong. I want to try the um, Shea Moisture has like a yogurt something I think it's Manuka Honey and yogurt range um, it's the blue one let me know if you've tried it because I, I, I'm thinking of trying it out. I'm going to use the Dream Curls John, I'm going to use the John Frieda Dream Curls mousse I did a review on the John Frieda Dream Curls range it's on my channel I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out after the- oh no, my battery's gonna die. I'll just keep going till my battery dies. So I just brushed through my hair with the Demon brush and I'm gonna use the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Gel. Lately when styling, I've been more mindful of not touching the top of my head, which really helps with reducing frizz. So that's my new tip, is not to touch this area while you're scrunching and whatnot. Okay, my camera's gonna die, so I'll finish here and get back to you. I'm gonna do some uni work and I'll get back to you, I guess, when my hair's dry and I'm doing something more interesting than uni work. <laughs>
guys, so it's later in the day. I just dried my hair. Um, I basically had to watch a lecture for uni and then I was doing an assignment. So I'm taking a break from that now, even though it's due tomorrow and I still have a lot to do. But yeah, I'm gonna do my work now for social media. I was supposed to do something with Taylor, but her parcel hasn't arrived. We're gonna do like a Zoom call video thing for Glassons, but her um, pieces ha haven't arrived. So I'm just gonna do some other work that I have to do anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup. I hope you're all doing well in this crazy time. I know it can kind of take a toll on your mental health, especially if you're already suffering. Oh, I've got a big chunk of mascara there. <laughs> but yeah, I know it can be hard if you're already suffering from anxiety, this kind of, this whole situation. We can't talk about it on YouTube because then I think they delete the video if you mention it. But yeah, this obvious situation can be really scary and cause a lot of anxiety. The past week hasn't been a great week for me. I felt really, really down um, at the start of this week. Just a bit stressed and overwhelmed with certain things and then also with the whole situation that's going on at the moment. Um, it doesn't really help when you have anxiety. I think everyone has anxiety, like everyone's experienced anxiety in their life and I guess we all and I guess we all um, react to it and deal with it in different ways. Um, when I was younger, I used to have anxiety attacks. I don't know if you've ever had an anxiety attack before. Um, if you have, you probably know what I'm talking about, but sometimes for me, it can be triggered by like stuff that's not even that big or stuff that's not even that dramatic, but um, like in my head, it seems like the end of the world when it really isn't. But when you're having an attack, for me it's like, can't breathe, I'm like panting, I'm like freaking out basically. And then I start to get like pins and needles, or like tingling, and it starts like in my nose and then it like slowly spreads throughout my face. And then I, and then at the same time it's like in my fingers and it like spreads to my, throughout my body. It depends how bad it is, but that, do, that doesn't help in calming you down either when you feel like your body is like... Anxiety attacks are not a pleasant thing, but... I thought I outgrew them. I think I, they started when I was like 16 and maybe stopped when I was like 18. There was one year where I had like three or four bad ones in the same year. But I haven't had one in ages. So when I thought about it, I was like, oh, I must have, it just must have been a phase of like my hormones and just being a teenager. So yeah, I thought I kind of outgrew them. But then this whole um, situation has kind of played a part in triggering them again and I actually had, I've had two in the past like couple weeks whenever this started, two in the past few weeks and yeah, it's like not a nice feeling to feel like I've gone backwards and like gone back into that negative space of who I used to be. By the way, I'm trying to grow my eyebrows out because I've like over plucked them so I'm not touching any of the hairs like around this area, only in here so if you can see that they're a bit crazy. That's why. So yeah, I just thought I'd say that, that I'm experiencing anxiety attacks again. And I think it's because of all this crazy stuff that's happening. And let me know if you are as well and what, what your experience with anxiety attacks are. Because mine is basically like, <laughs> can't breathe. And then um, pins and needles throughout my body. The worst one I've ever had is when I was panicking so much that I couldn't there was like two seconds where I couldn't see and it was just black and my eyes were open. That was the worst one, but that was like when I was younger and I thought I outgrew them, but it turns out they're back. I'm feeling back to normal now, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling way better thanks to just being around my family and my boyfriend. But yeah, having someone to talk to and just, you don't even have to talk about it, but just having someone around you that makes you feel happy and safe always helps and that's what helps me um, whenever I'm feeling anxious. Anyway, I thought I'd just touch on that quickly um, in case any of you are feeling similar things. Like I look around and lots of people aren't worried about it. Like they're very just going on, living their lives, not super worried about it. Like my boyfriend's pretty chill. Um, he even forgot about it. He was like, oh, I'm gonna go play soccer with my friends. And I'm like, you know, you're not allowed to do that. And he was like, oh yeah, like he just, he forgot about it. So yeah, I thought I'd just touch on that because I'm sure there's a lot of other people feeling anxious and dealing with things in their head and feeling down around this time, especially at this time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back.
going to end the vlog here. I feel like nothing happened in this vlog. Hopefully it was slightly entertaining. This is just what my days are like now. This is kind of what my days were like before everything happened as well. But yeah, I just ate a banana and I'm having my second protein shake of the day. I'm trying to make sure I have enough protein because my legs will be really sore otherwise. Let me know what videos you want to see from me. If you like these kind of casual, just lifestyle vlogs, let me know. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!